Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the realm of bizarre news. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and we start off with the Phoenix probe of Mars' northern polar cap sent there by NASA to find life there. I suggest that it does indeed exist there. For example, we have bacteria flourishing in ice in Lake Vostok in Antarctica, and also bacteria flourishing within snowballs. The entities there might be called crystophages, that is, ice eaters. But I want to harken back to the date Sunday, July 25th, 1976, when the Viking 1 orbiter took the celebrated photo of the face of Mars. Please note that it has a hairline, eyes, nose, mouth, chin. Certainly resembles a humanoid face. Dimensionality, two-thirds of a mile from ear to ear, one mile from crown to chin. Computer analysis suggested that it was inherently different from the surrounding terrain, suggesting it was a created structure as opposed to a natural one perhaps something akin to the four presidential faces at Mount Rushmore, yes. And on the surface at that time, both the Viking 1 and 2 landers were conducting the Viking biology experiments, three separate experiments on Martian soil, six total. Each of the six experiments yielded positive results, but NASA scientists rejected that as evidence of life because the results did not mirror what terrestrial organisms would have been doing. I argue, and I've done this in lectures, articles and my column that this was indeed proof of life that because Mars is compositionally different the biology there should be different and those were positive results. I further submit to you that even more advanced entities might have evolved on the red planet and as the Martian atmosphere thinned they may have migrated underground. Might still exist today under the Martian soil or Martian ice. Yes. Now let's turn from Mars to snails. Let me open up this trivia question extricated from its paper prison. The question, which entity is essentially a snail without a shell? Is that a slug, newt, leech, or barnacle? Now, the prize, the only prize, is one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. Heck of a lot better than a slap on the belly with a wet trout. Now, speaking of snails, we have a young man back in 1997 in Dongwon, China, age 14, who found a snail on the ground, took it home as a pet. It was only the size of a coin. Today, 11 years later, it's the size of a human hand. It is doing quite nicely. It takes it for a daily walk. Normally, these snails would only live five or six years, but TLC has extended its longevity, almost doubling it. Now, I want to know, if any of you have an unusual pet out there, such as a snail or perhaps a raccoon, let us know. We might just feature you on a future episode of our show. No guarantees, but a possibility. Now, back to the trivia question again. What is a shellless snail? Is that a slug? Newt, leech, or barnacle? And you say a slug? Absolutely right. Too darn easy. For the record, the study of snails and slugs is malacology. Now let's open up the Vault of Strange Deaths here and see what we have. It says, extremely unfriendly. And this pertains to a farmer, age 34, down in Kumamoto, Japan, who swallowed pesticide in a suicide bid. But then, when he was taken to the hospital, just before he died, he vomiturated particles of this toxin throughout the ward. Fifty-four doctors, nurses, and patients were sickened. One almost died. Yes, very unfriendly. And no one else who's very inconsiderate, there's someone robbing fast food eateries in the Philadelphia area of the brass pipes in their restrooms, making those restrooms inoperative. Of course, they're going to sell it for recycling. Very inconsiderate. Darn! 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 Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes. Such inconsiderate people we have.